Alright y'all, it's your boy Fro, back again with another review for the 2003 Pixar flick, Finding Nemo, which is also one of my favorite movies of all time. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. I don't have any problem with this film whatsoever. I have no nitpicks. There's no scenes or moments that I would leave on the cutting room floor. I love this film wholeheartedly. We follow a clownfish named Marlin, voiced by Albert Brooks, who's on a search for his son Nemo after he gets caught and trapped by a diver. Along the way, he comes across a very goofy blue reef fish named Dory, who's voiced by Ellen DeGeneres. And along the way for the search for Nemo, Marlin and Dory start to bond together. They come across different creatures and fish. There's also a memorable scene where the two of them come across three sharks that's led by a shark named Bruce, which is a homage to the shark in Jaws. We have the great Willem Dafoe playing a Moorish idol marine fish named Gil. Nemo comes across Gil and a gang of other fish that are trapped inside of the aquarium of the diver. There's a great actor that I like named Jeffrey Rush, and he plays Nigel, the pelican that eventually helps Marlin find Nemo. And some of the other voice actors in the aquarium are Allison Janney playing Peach the Funny Starfish. We have Brad Garrett playing the porcupine fish Bloat. Steven Root, who I think is a very underrated actor, plays Bubbles. A pretty overall solid voice cast, not just for the aquarium sequences, but overall the whole film. And I still think after all these years that the animation for this film is fantastic. I do think the visuals are very nice to look at. I think another big highlight from Finding Nemo is the musical score done by one of my favorite composers, Thomas Newman. I think he knocks it out of the park. It hits the right emotions. But the particular piece that I really enjoy and that I love the most out of the entire score might have to be the title track, especially after the gut-wrenching and emotional opening sequence that we go through with Marlon and his family. Without spoiling too much, for those that haven't seen it but it hits like a ton of bricks and the title track immediately right after gets me every time and i know that's extremely nerdy for me to say <laughs> but that's just me fro personally and we can't forget crush the turtle who's actually voiced by the director andrew stanton he doesn't have the biggest screen time but crush leaves a great impression on you Obviously, I've always thought that they were stoner turtles, like, hey, dude, dude, yeah, dude. Like, I think they're stoned out of their mind. They're stone turtles, but they're really cool. They have a really cool family. I really enjoy their characters. And Crush does help out Marlon and Dory when he points them toward the direction of the current, uh, headed toward Sydney. But wrapping it up, I've always loved this movie. Again, I have no nitpicks. I think the voice cast is overall pretty damn good. Even as someone who's not a big fan of Ellen DeGeneres, I think she does a really good job playing Dory. Definitely. I think she handles the comedy very well. And even some of the tense scenes like the jellyfish sequence where Dory gets knocked out and we're pretty scared for her character. And overall, the very goofy moments from Dory. I, I really enjoyed her performance. I am a fan of Albert Brooks and I always thought he was a really cool casting choice as Marlon, the father. I think Albert does a great job conveying that fear of a father and him on his search and his quest to reconnect with his son. I think he sold it very well. Again, Willem Dafoe and Jeffrey Rush. Overall, great cast. We also have a ball of different emotions in this film. Sad, funny, intense. We got some action sequences. And I still think the visuals are A+. So I'm going to give Finding Nemo a personal 10 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro. What did you think about Finding Nemo? Do you hate it? Do you like it? Do you think it's overrated? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time, tune in for more reviews. And that's it, y'all. I'm out. Peace.